Sing me a song of a last that is gone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee, and today's video is another video in the Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone chapter by chapter review series. So if you are not up to chapter 23 of this amazing book, then I highly recommend jumping to another uh, video or another playlist because this one is full of spoilers. And if you haven't read up to this chapter, you're going to be told things that you might not want to know. But if you're okay with spoilers, then this is definitely the video for you as we sit back and talk about chapter 23. Now, before I start talking about the actual chapter review video, I just want to say I've had a few comments about how I'm not using the green screen for this video series, even though in my New Year's resolution, I said I was going to use the green screen. We were going to have Jamie in the background. Now, I'm going to put the green screen up for uh, the TV and more like... So if we're going to talk about the book, I don't like to put TV Jamie in the background of things because a lot of book readers who have been reading the books for a lot longer than the TV series has been going doesn't have that Jamie as their Jamie in their mind for books. And I don't want to sort of integrate the two, if that makes sense. But when we're talking about TV Outlander, I will most certainly be putting TV Jamie in the background, but I just didn't want to upset book readers I know that's hard because I love both and I but I do have uh two different Jamies in my mind <laughs> for when I'm reading the books or when I'm watching the TV series although now TV Jamie is slowly taking over my book version of Jamie but that is a whole video in on itself on what how you have you know book characters in your mind but anyway so I'm so sorry if you were expecting TV Jamie to pop up in this video series. This series of Go Tell the Bees I Am Gone will be strictly our good old plain boring background here until this series is over and we'll, we'll work out something for the next series of videos. But in my other Outlander content, which I have a clothing uh, one from Torrid coming up, I'm going to definitely try and use the green screen for that because, you know, this, bo this background is getting a bit boring. So we'll definitely be branching out then. I'm sorry if that's upset anyone. But today's video is about chapter 23, Trout Fishing in America, part two. Now, this was a very, very short chapter and it just, yeah, it was so touching. There were parts of this chapter that really, really stood out to me and I really enjoyed. And it, it was just so short, but I've given up on thinking that the short chapters are ending. I think this entire book is going to be short chapters. I never even realised how many chapters were in this book until a couple of days ago when I really was like, oh, this is why there's like a million chapters because they're so short. <laughs> now this chapter is predominantly told from the perspectives of Jamie and Roger and it is a few days after the previous chapter. Now, like I said, this chapter was full of touching moments and it definitely has a few trigger points from Claire's attack back in the previous book. Now, Roger, Jamie and all the kids and the grandkids have gone uh, fishing, basically, is the scene set for this chapter. Now, whilst they're out fishing, you can tell that there's something that Jamie wants to ask Roger and he does eventually come out and he says to Roger, do Presbyterians have confession? Now, this was sort of Roger's moment of being like, oh, okay, this is a serious conversation. This is something that's, you know, we're hitting on a on a nice sort of, not nice subject, but we're hitting on a, a subject that's definitely going to bring them closer. And as I was reading it, I thought, yeah, there's such, there's such a connection between Roger and Claire and Roger and Jamie, and they have that different level. It's so nice to read. But he does say, well, yeah, they do have confession. The conversation also leads back to Jamie now telling Roger how he had gone and killed the man who had attacked Claire and that it was a couple of months after the fact. And now the conversations of clearly are all about the night that Claire was attacked. And it does come up that Jamie asks Roger if he knew that Claire had been raped. Now, this was very, like, this whole conversation you could tell was a struggle from both aspects of Jamie and Roger, but the respect between them was enough that it was just, it was nice to see that they were able to talk about it and 
obviously Jamie, you know, he doesn't have many other men that he could go and talk about Claire with. Not, not so much that he's talking about Claire, but talking about situations that Claire has been in. But Roger is that other male family member that is completely trusted. Obviously, Roger's from the future. So there are no secrets there. There's nothing that Jamie sort of needs to duck and weave in conversations with Roger as same with Roger to Jamie. So it's really lovely for them to be able to have this open conversation. Now we know Jamie has many friends and many allies and many respected, you know, friends in the community, in his world. But for him to have Roger as that sort of lean to that, obviously besides Claire, that person that he is able to go and discuss things with, it really spoke volumes in this chapter on how close they are and how, you know, it's like Roger is his rock and his communication buddy I, I'm not explaining this chapter well at all but that is exactly how I felt when reading this I thought this is lovely because besides Claire this is the person that Jamie is able to confide in openly and freely about every subject everything like it's just fantastic the relationship that they are building and it wasn't a completely one-way street in this conversation either it wasn't Jamie pouring his heart out to Roger and you know confessing that he went off and killed the guy that attacked Claire months later Roger also does tell Jamie that during the attack and during when they went and saved Claire he also killed a man there and you know he discusses with Jamie the reaction after it and how he went back to Bree and told Bree what had happened and Bree's words were just I love you and held him and things like that and it was just like I said it wasn't just a one-way street where we saw Jamie as this one confiding in Roger and Roger's like this big strong holding of all the secrets and you know being Jamie's rock you could also see that it was vice versa and Roger was able to then tell Jamie exactly what happened with him and how he had killed someone and how his reaction with Bree was. Like I said, it was just so lovely to see the connection and the bond building. Even though we know the bond has been there for a little while now, it definitely has been, but it was just another, another stamp on the page to say, yeah, this is definitely a connection and a family and there's nothing that's really going to be able to split this family dynamic up. I really... I mean, I, I don't see that in any way, shape or form being an issue in this book because we know that Big Bad has to be coming and we be I believe it's going to be the war, which again was another subject that they spoke about, but it was just, yeah, I like to know that things like this are going to be locked in place, especially with the how, how Roger came into this family with Jamie, you know, there are some things that you think, oh, that you, you, for you will forever remember that in the back of your brain, but that is completely gone, I believe, in the Roger and Jamie dynamic. Now, as I said, this chapter was very short and very sweet, so I am sorry that today's video is also very short and very sweet, but that was the basis of this chapter. Now, I am going to be bringing out another chapter video tomorrow, so if you have not hit that subscribe button, please consider doing so. I also have a subscriber giveaway going, so if you haven't yet entered that, please jump on to that video and enter that one. And welcome to the Outlander community if you are a brand new subscriber. I will see you tomorrow for the very next chapter and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Sing me a song of a last that is gone.